Another pretty exciting feature that Ghost ESP has is it will do a vulnerability scan on nearby access points and see if they're susceptible to a WPS brute force attack. I love the idea that you can use Ghost ESP to search your own networks for vulnerabilities. It's such a great idea. Another cool feature of Ghost ESP is it will allow you to print text on a Wi-Fi enabled printer, which is just wild. That's right, you can use a Flipper Zero to print text on a network attached printer. In my opinion, one of the coolest features of Ghost ESP now is the fact they've integrated a web UI. So now all you need is a teeny tiny ESP32 and a cell phone, and you've got yourself a super covert, easy to use Wi-Fi pen testing tool. That is just way too cool. All right, so let's take a look at some of the cool new features that Ghost ESP has to offer. One of the cool things that Spooky's been up to is trying to port over Ghost ESP to as many devices as he can. Here it is running on a Walks Dual ESP Mini. Now this runs extremely well on this hardware. It's got a great refresh rate and the little joystick down there makes it extremely easy to control. Like, look, we can just move around, go to Wi-Fi and let's see, it says scan. We can just start scanning and it's going to go through and scan all of the nearby Wi-Fi's just like Marauder. It's very, very cool. And it's got this awesome animation in the beginning. I absolutely love it. The fact that he's already got a UI working for an attached screen is super cool because again, you don't need to have this at all. Spooky's even in the process of getting touchscreen to work, so it'll work on things like the dual touch from AWOC and the ESP32 Marauder by Just Call Me Coco. Now, the beauty of it is you don't even need a screen to run Ghost ESP. Here, I've got it running on my BFFB by Just Call Me Coco. 